In this lecture, I will show you how to add springs and dampers to your motion study. What is shown here on the screen is a rear view of a racing car left wheel suspension. The different 2D blocks are assembled to each other by adding relations in the layout. And here is how the model moves. I will discuss it in details in the next section, but now let's create a new motion study. Select Motion Analysis, make sure it's activated from the SOLIDWORKS add-ins. First, I will add a linear motor to move the wheel up. Linear motor, select the wheel bottom. And choose this direction. Reverse. Distance and 25 millimeter okay now calculate the motion next I will turn off the displacement after 5 seconds so I will move the assembly and key to 16 seconds and right click to place a key and now drag it to 5 seconds. Then right click and select off to turn off the motor. Let's calculate this. Now the wheel will move up until second number 5 and it will stop until the end of the motion. To add a spring and damper, click on the spring icon here. First we have two options. Linear spring or torsion spring. Make sure it's linear and in this option select these two lines to place the spring between them. Here we have the spring equation. Almost all the springs we will deal with are linear, so I will keep it one. And here I will add the spring stiffness. It's 25 Newton per millimeter, which means 2.5 kilograms to compress the spring 1 millimeter. And okay, what we have done here in our motion study is we have added a spring to the entire study from second zero till the end. And from second number five, we are compressing the spring by moving the wheel at 25 millimeter distance. And in this period, we are releasing the spring, so I'm expecting oscillations here. I will slow down the speed and calculate. Here we go. The wheel now is oscillating. Let me slow down to 0.5. or maybe 0.25. As you can see here, the wheel oscillates because the energy is absorbed and stored in the spring. And since there is no friction in the model, it will continue to infinity. Here comes the importance of having damper in the system to damp the motion and get rid of this energy. To add a damper to the system, edit the spring definition, scroll down and check the damper. Here we have the damper equation, keep it linear, and damping coefficient, let's try 8. There is an update here to the model, no problem, select yes, and calculate. As you have seen, the oscillations disappeared. I will drag this here and run the model again to give you a closer look. The motion was damped and the energy stored in the spring was turned into heat.